Welcome to the GE Video Academy. This video will provide an overview on using the SD Configuration Setup Wizard located on the web interface of the MDS Master Station. Open up a web browser to the MDS Master Station and log in as admin. This initial setup wizard will automatically start on a brand new radio. This wizard will be discussed at another time. Exit out of the wizard by pressing Cancel and clicking Yes on the next pop-up. Using the navigation bar on the left-hand side of the web interface, click on Wizards. Under the Wizards tab, locate the SD setup and then click on it. Once ready to configure the SD radio, click the Next button on the Overview page. First, the user must choose from one of the three available radio modes, X710, Transparent, or Packet with Mac. Click the Next button to continue on to the regulatory section. These items may be limited to the type of radio ordered and the regulatory restrictions. Refer to the proper documentation when configuring these items. On the next page, the modem selection at this point is dependent on the selection made in the previous page. Choose from one of the available modems listed and then click the Next button. The RF output power parameter controls the power level at which the transceiver outputs. Update the power level or just click the Next button. Enter the transmit and receive frequencies, taking into consideration the previous selections on the wizard and the license granted to use. If the MDS master station will be used as a repeater, choose either repeater or repeater with local data under repeater mode on the following page. Continuing on, the user can choose the system ID to manage multiple networks within close distances of each other running on the same frequencies. After pressing next on the wizard, the encryption page will follow. To enable encryption, the radio must not be in X710 mode. Check on the box to enable over-the-air encryption and then enter the payload encryption phrase. The payload setup will only be possible on radios that are not a repeater or configured as a repeater with local data. Choose which port to function as the payload port and the port configuration. A second payload port can be configured on the following page. When the radio mode is set to packet with Mac, the user will have to configure the MAC settings as either an access point or a remote. If the radio is set as an access point, the user can choose additional fields to describe the network. On the second MAC settings page of the wizard, the user can set peer-to-peer -peer configurations if desired. By default, D-Link is disabled. To enable this feature, click on the checkbox. This will then display the D-Link specific configurations such as unit ID, type, and mode. On the following pages, the user can configure the D-Link settings for the serial or TCP port. Clicking Next will reach the end of the wizard. View the configuration summary to verify the changes that are made. For any additional changes, use the Back button to navigate back or press Cancel to leave the wizard. To commit the changes, press the Submit button. Once the page reloads to the main page, all the changes will have been set to the radio. 